Today I learned a noun can be a person, place, or thing. Today I learned a noun can be a person, place, or thing. A person, place, or thing. Grandma, sister, uncle, Harry. School, the mall, my town, flight, Larry. Lunchbox, elephant, Clarberry. A person, place, or thing. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our language arts class for today, December 7th, 2020. Now today, we will be looking at common nouns. We will be looking at common nouns. Now today's objectives. Today, we are learning to identify common nouns. We are learning to identify common nouns, put common nouns into groups. So we'll be doing two things today. One, we're going to identify common nouns. Two, we are going to put common nouns into groups. All right, materials needed. You need your writing book, you need a pencil, crayons, and a storybook or your learning kit, if you're in Jamaica, that is. All right, success criteria. How will I know that I am successful? To know that I am successful, I should be able to say yes to these I can statements. One, I can identify the name of a person. Two, I can identify the name of a place. Three, I can identify the name of an animal. Four, I can identify the name of a thing. And five, I can group the names correctly. So if your answer is yes to all of those I can statements, then you will be successful. So that is how you will know that you are successful. All right. What are common nouns? Common nouns name persons, places, animals, and things. So common nouns, they name persons, places, animals, and things. So remember, a noun is a naming word. So a naming word tells the name of persons, places, animals, and things. Common nouns do not begin with capital letters. Let's look at some examples of common nouns. Boy, school, dog, book. So boy, school, dog, book. These names could be talking about any boy, any school, any dog, or any book. That is the reason they are common nouns. Remember, boy, boy, school, dog, book. They could be talking about any boy, any school, any dog, or any book. That is the reason they are common nouns. Let's look at this sentence. The girl and the boy are talking. Let's read that again. The girl and the boy are talking. The girl and the boy are talking. 
Can you spot the common noun or nouns? All right. So if your answer is girl and boy are the common nouns, then you are correct. So girl and boy, they are the common nouns in this sentence. So which girl are we talking about? It could be any girl or any boy. All right, let's look at common nouns in groups. Now, the groups are person, place, animal, and thing. The groups are person, place, animal, and thing. Now, group person. Here are some examples of common nouns. Mother, father, man, Baby, let's go again. Mother, father, man, baby. All these are common nouns, common names of persons, right? So whose mother are we talking about? We don't know. It could be anybody's mother, anyone's mother, right? So whose father? We don't know exactly. So it could be any father. Which man? It could be any man or any baby. All right, place. We have shop, yard, river, farm. Shop, yard, river, farm. Which shop? It could be any shop. Bread sells at the shop. Which shop? It could be any shop because most shops sells bread. Whose yard? It could be anybody's, right? Any yard. We know that uh, we have most likely to have grass in, in a yard. So where is the grass? In a yard. Whose yard? Could be anyone's, anybody's yard. All right, river. It could be any river. Farm. It could be any farm. All right, let's look at animal, the group animal. We have dog, cat, goat, and dog. Which dog? Dog, the dog barks. Dogs barks. Which dog? It could be any dog. Shih Tzu, Rottweilers, Doberman, um, Mongrels, um, any dog. It could be any dog. Cat. Cats have claws. Which cat? All cats, right? Goat. Which goat? Any goat. Duck, right? Ducks make a quacking sound. Which duck? Could be any duck, all ducks. All right, thing group. Bag, cap, car, door, bag, cap, car, door. All right, so remember, these are not specific, right? So it can be any bag, could be a Calvin Klein bag, it could be a Gap bag, it could be my bag, it could be any bag, any cap, any car, or any door. So all of these are common nouns. All right, so we group things that are alike in some ways. No alike means same. So things that are the same, we put them in one group by themselves. So things that are alike in some way or the other, we group them together. So here we have some words, right? Word tiles. So we are going to look for the common nouns and then we are going to place them into their correct groups. 
for example, person, place, animal, or thing. So here is the word run, R-U-N, run. Is run a person, place, animal, or thing? No, run is an action word. So it is not a common noun. It's not a noun. Mat, M-A-T, mat. Is mat the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. Mat is the name of a thing. So in your books, you are going to write mat under the heading thing. Now here we have pig, P-I-G, pig. Pig, is pig a person, place, animal, or thing? Good job. Pig is the name of an animal. So we are going to write pig under the heading animal in your book. So write pig under the group animal. Here we have fireman. Fireman. F-I-R-E-M-A-N. Fireman. Now fireman. Hmm. Is fireman a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. It is the name of a person. So we're going to, in your books, you are going to write fireman under person. Now church, ch church, C-H-U-R-C-H, -H, church, C-H-U-R-C-H. Is church the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. Church is the name of a place. So in your books again, you're going to put church under the group, place, right? Pen, P-E-N, pen. Is pen a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. Pen is the name of a thing that we use to write. So we are, you are going to write in your books again. You're going to put pen under the group thing. So you're going to put it in the group that is name thing. The, T-H-E, the. Is the a person, place, animal, or thing? None of the above. Very good. They is not a common noun. It doesn't name anything. All right, play. Is play the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? No, it's not. Very good. Play does not name a person, animal, place, or thing. Play is something that you can do. All right, very good. Good thinking. All right, author. Is author the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. Author is a person who writes books, right? So it's the name of a person. Right, so the author wrote the reading book. A pig in a pen. So on the person, you're going to write author. All right, here is the word big. B-I-G, big. Is big the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. No, big does not name a person, animal, place, or thing. In fact, big is a describing word. Right, it describes the size of something big. The boy is big, or the apple is big, the plate is big, the house is big. All right, so it's not a common noun. Zoo, zoo. What is zoo? Is it the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Good thinking. Zoo names a place. That's a place where we keep animals. So in your books, you're going to put zoo under the heading 
place. Now rat, R-A-T, rat. Is rat the name of a person, place, animal, or thing? Very good. Rat is the name of an animal. So you're going to put rat under the heading animal. Very good. Now for your extended activity. In your writing book, group four common nouns you can find in a storybook at home. Remember, you need to find four persons, four places, four animals, and four things. All right, so when you're finished, please send a copy of your work to Mrs. Williams on WhatsApp or in your Google Classrooms. Thank you.